Hey, Runa Schmuckles, don't mind my hair, I just woke up. I was in a deep sleep and then this tweet from DVD Leaks woke me up. But wait, before we start the video, I wanted to bring something to your attention that somebody told me in Discord. Charlie from Discord brought these audio files to my attention. I listened to them and these are the exact same audio files that I received from the data miner saying that it was the Hattie groans. So this confirms that those audio files were a hoax because it was found in an online database. I'm not gonna bore you by comparing them, but I will link it in the description below if you're interested in checking out the online database. Okay, let's jump into the new stuff. Apparently the chapter 24 new killer is going to be original so we're getting closer to what the possibilities are for this chapter in this video i wanted to use everything that we know to kind of logically go over what the possibilities are for this chapter we know that this killer has to be something really really big and thankfully last year we did the most hyped original killers tournament this is going to serve as the starting point for what's possible for chapter 24 we have every major folklore creature in this tournament but before we jump into that let's talk about our chapter 24 assumptions we know that the new killer is going to be original we know that it's going to be a locker based kind of killer we know that the killer might have something to do with Hattie's lore. And this is more of a consideration, but we know that the new killer might be based on an OG Babadook. Also, another consideration is that there was a rumor that the anniversary banner is up at the behavior headquarters and that it's completely dark and you can only see the silhouette of the killer. So we're going to keep all these things in mind when going through the list. So let's take a look at the possibilities here. Do we think that a knight would have a locker based power? In my opinion, it doesn't really make sense for a knight to be coming in with a locker based power. I don't see any reason for that to be attached to the power in any way. I don't really see the locker based power for the witch either, nor a necromancer. I don't think the ice cream man would have a locker based power. A werewolf, I wouldn't imagine would have a locker based power, more of like a transformation kind of power or some sort of like frenzy ability. A headless horseman, I don't even know if having a, like obviously having a horse in DBD probably wouldn't make any sense because killers can't go past 4.6 meters per second. Unless like the headless horseman's collecting heads out of lockers or something like that attached to the power, I don't really see it. I guess a puppeteer kind of could make sense if like they're getting parts for the puppet or the puppet itself is in, can be found in the lockers or something like that. Personally, I don't really buy that they'd bring in a puppeteer with like a locker based power still. Locker based power doesn't really make sense for a teacher. If they had like some sort of swamp monster that had the ability to teleport through lockers, it's kind of a stretch. So I'm just not even going to include it, but I think that could be a possibility. I feel like a pirate's power would be more based on like the pirate's strength. So I don't necessarily know if a locker based power would make sense with a pirate. Uh, the boogeyman is from my understanding of what a boogeyman is. That's kind of like a creature that's like under your bed or in your closet. So I guess that kind of makes sense with a locker power so we're gonna say like a boogeyman is, is a possibility for chapter 24 the poltergeist with some sort of like jump scare ability kind of makes sense out of a locker for me so we'll include the poltergeist too i don't really see a cyborg making sense with a locker based power the el capra cabra i might have butchered that i feel like that makes sense with a locker based power it's kind of like a stealth or like jump scare ability i i, I could see that we'll, we'll put that in the next round here people who want the medusa have kind of talked about like being able to turn survivors into stone or having that as the kind of the power and that makes sense with the medusa like folklore and backstory so i'm not i'm gonna not include that in the next round the tall man is kind of the folklore version of slender man which we talked about in this video i know that the tall man and slender man have like paranormal like supernatural abilities and i kind of feel like a power would be based around that for that killer so i'm gonna say a locker based power doesn't make sense for the tall man for gangster i really don't see it for a vampire i feel like it could make sense because it kind of like people have been saying is sort of like a coffin a, a vampire doesn't perfectly fit for me because if we're seeing lockers like coffins why wouldn't they just spawn coffins on the map kind of like sadako's tvs nonetheless if they don't want to throw a bunch of coffins on the map and they want really really good mobility for the killer if the killer can teleport from locker to locker then i suppose a vampire does make sense still vampires can only come out at night so i don't know how that would work in the daytime but i still think a vampire makes sense with the locker power a genie kind of makes sense to me too because genies are supposed to teleport out of like lamps so it's not too big of a stretch to say like well what if it was just lockers instead it's an original version of a genie, so it can literally be whatever they want. I don't think the Kuchisaki Ona makes sense with a locker power. A mummy absolutely makes sense with a locker power. Maybe the lockers would look a little bit different, kind of like it's coming out of like its tome or something like that. I guess I'm picturing like the Brendan Fraser version of the mummy, where the mummy can literally just come out of its coffin. Kind of like a vampire, but I guess a locker would make sense for a mummy. If we're saying a vampire makes sense with a locker power, then the mummy certainly makes sense too. I don't think the Ripper really makes sense with the Ripper's backstory to have some sort of like locker power. I feel like it'd be something different. I guess the magic Magician kind of does make sense. It could be like a teleport ability or like a magic trick, kind of like in the Prestige with Christian Bale. A Yeti doesn't really make sense. I feel like a power with a Yeti would be more focused on like a ranged attack or focusing on a Yeti strength. Same thing with the Cyclops. The fact a giant spider might have been teased with the six year anniversary banner, I feel like it has to be on our list. And that being said, I've heard theories of like a giant spider having its egg in every single locker and being able to teleport from one nest to another or something like that. The Grim Reaper, I think the Wraith is already based on the Grim Reaper, and I don't think, I mean, they have brought in Leatherface, I guess 
Chaos and the Hillbilly, but I'm not going to put it on our list. It doesn't quite make sense with a Locker Power to me. I feel like a Grim Reaper would be more focused on like psychological fear. The Grim Reaper is definitely borderline to me. Like it definitely could be a Grim Reaper of some sort or like a variant of a Grim Reaper, but I'm just not going to include it. For a Banshee, we already have the Hag. And going back to the Grim Reaper and Banshee, we already have characters that are kind of based on these kind of folklore concepts. And it's not like the creatures in the game are licensed. So I don't think they'd bring in two original versions of the same folklore creature. I think there's enough possibilities out there right now for this to not happen yet. The Lalorna probably wouldn't make sense to me either. I might have butchered that name too, but just picture this killer coming out of lockers. It would look really, really similar to Sadako. And I don't think they'd have anything too, too similar coming out like Sadako. At least I hope not because that would kind of disappoint the license holders if something really close to Sadako released the next chapter. Like think of the sales for the Sadako chapter. It probably wouldn't look good to the license holders. I don't think the Windigo would fit in a locker. I think Bigfoot is more of a meme than an actual possibility for a killer. And I don't think a Skinwalker would quite make sense too. So based on like logically going through every single one of these killers on this list, these are in my opinion, the most likely folklore creatures that could come in for chapter 24. In addition to this, I want to throw on the original version of a folklore Babadook as well as the Observer too, because there's been a lot of theories circulating around about the Observer. So this is our final list. Now, let's go over our top five. Number five is a giant spider. Like I said, they could have already teased this with the anniversary banner. I don't really trust teasers anymore after what they did to us with the Resident Evil teaser. I know people are saying it looks like the three in Resident Evil 3, but there's no denying that it looks exactly like the witch's hook as well. The reason the giant spider made it to the top five for me is because in Hattie's lore, there's a creature described with a ton of red eyes. So I feel like a bipedal version of a spider kind of matches this description. So it's checking out in all the right places, but I still don't really think that this anniversary is going to be a spider. Number four is the boogeyman and the reason this is so high up on the list is because it does really make sense to have like a boogeyman kind of creature that comes in with like a locker teleporting ability it kind of makes sense with its folklore and just everything we've seen in popular media about boogeyman now michael myers is like a licensed version of a boogeyman so i'm not sure that they would bring in an original version after myers being in the game but still it seems to be checking out in all the right places so it's number four on the list number three is the observer now this is not necessarily what i want but this is what i think is most likely i kind of wanted to put the observer is number four and the boogeyman is number three but i'm gonna stick with the observer for number three because the fact of the matter is the developers actually said we would never have this character in the game on paper and what i think a lot of people think i think i'm gonna put the observer as number three but in my opinion it should be four and boogeyman should be three number two is a vampire and this just goes back to the fact that hattie has a vampire described in her lore i think it's important to keep in mind that dead by daylight probably didn't know we'd have it leaked this early that hattie's gonna be the anniversary survivor so that being said a vampire makes perfect sense with her lore and be a pretty crazy surprise for the anniversary. A vampire is also the farthest creature back in the tome cutscenes that behavior has showed us. So I feel like the timing could be right for a vampire chapter now, but it's still number two on this list. Number one is a folklore version of the Babadook. It's believed to be a spirit or a demon. And the Babadook is kind of like a variant of a boogeyman. It's a tall creature with a black coat and a hat. And in the Babadook's folklore, it's able to mysteriously appear in random homes. So I could kind of see that translating into DBD as like a locker based power. I think the Babadook makes a lot of sense with like an anniversary banner that has no color and where you can only see the silhouette of the killer. Like I can just picture that banner where you can only see like the killer's outline with the top hat, but we'll have to wait and see until we get more information. What did you think of my picks? Are there any other killers that you know about that you think are more likely for chapter 24? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to follow the new killer news for chapter 24. That does it for this video. Goodbye.